I'm Harlan Charles, Corvette Product Manager. We're here at Palm Springs with the new 2014 Corvette Stingray Convertible. And one of the neat things about the Corvette Stingray is its structure. We talked about the structure, the frame, all aluminum now, lighter and stronger. And the neat thing about the convertible and the coupe, the coupe has an open roof as well. So we really are able to do a lot of the same things with the convertible as we do with the coupe. It's got the same common structure. Uh, it doesn't have to have any extra weight added to it. It's available with a lot of the same options, like the Z51 Performance Package is available. Okay, we were talking about the, the Z51 Performance Package. Mm -hmm. Now here's a convertible with the package. So it has the larger wheels and tires, 19s in the front, 20s in the rear, bigger the standard. Larger brakes with the slotted rotors. And um, also the larger spoiler in the back. Full, larger full width spoiler. Now this car also has a new option, which is the competition seats. Call them competition sport seats. And again, for for more performance or oriented, if you're more har hardcore, these have a, have more uh, support on the bolsters, and they have uh, carbon fiber cutouts. Mm, I see. Headrest. They also have the suede inserts and you get with those you get um, if you get the suede inserts you get a suede steering wheel and a suede shifter to go with it it has the same LT1 engine 460 horsepower 465 pound-feet of torque with the multi-mode exhaust system that we have. And um, the convertible, the neat thing about the convertible too is it's a full power convertible now. So it's a one-button operation. You know, just uh, it can actually be lowered with the key fob or you can use it up to 30 miles an hour. You can operate the top. So, you know, Corvette drivers, we don't like to waste time. So you can drop the top before you even get in the car. Okay, so I'm going to drive off, and then how do I raise the roof as I'm driving off? On the, on the left. See this toggle? This right here? No. Uh, higher up. Higher up. Next to the steering wheel. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so I hit, do I have to continually press it, or I just Yeah, press you do have to hold it. While you're driving? Mm -hmm. Is that unsafe? It, it has to be supervised because it's a... Oh. Um, for, actually, for safety. I see. So you don't chop somebody's arm off or something. Okay, so we're recording it. So I do have to. <laughs> there you go. So I'm holding it. Yeah, yeah. It takes less than 20 seconds. So that it locks in? How do I know when it's done? It beeps. Wait till it beeps. There you go. I see. And it tells you folding top motion complete on the center. Okay. There you go. Use, um, the uh, Corvette we talked about, it's got the, the aluminum frame, has a carbon fiber hood for lightweight standard as well. Uh, this car has the new uh, seven speed manual transmission. So seven speeds and it also has a, a active rev match feature, which, which we can try, which actually uh, makes everybody shift like a pro. It matches your revs, up shifts and down shifts. And it does the heel toe downshift for you, so it makes it uh, very easy to drive. The Corvettes are capable of 0 to 60, 3.8 seconds, but still gets incredible 29 miles per gallon EPA highway fuel economy rating. About 100! You can still talk. Yeah! Isn't that amazing? Because it has uh, active fuel management which can actually allow the car to run as a four-cylinder instead of a V8 in certain conditions if you want to save fuel. With the eco mode, we have different modes in the car. We have weather mode, which you don't really need out here in Palm Springs too much for slippery conditions. The eco mode for fuel economy. Okay, so we're in economy mode here. When I'm not needing a power, uh, the Stingray shifts down to V4 and gives me a much better gas mileage. As you can see, they're switching back and forth. That's genius. Touring mode for comfortable driving, sport mode for we're gonna have some more fun, and then we have a track mode, which is truly, you know, track settings on the car. 
and it changes a lot of different things in the car. It changes the way the steering feels, the way the exhaust sounds, the way the throttle feels in the car, even changes the, the appearance of the cluster, the gauges. We have two 8-inch high-definition screens, one for your gauges and one for your navigation and radio uh, in the car. Yeah, on the exterior of the car, the neat thing about the Corvette Stingray, it has to be designed to be both beautiful, but it really has to be a good race car as well. So there's a lot of attention to detail in both the aerodynamic drag and the lift. And what we were able to do with the new uh, Corvette is improve both the, the lift characteristics and the drag characteristics. Plus make a beautiful new statement that's uh, the new Stingray that doesn't really copy the previous Corvette Stingrays, but evokes that feeling that you get. Uh, like I said before, it has a carbon fiber hood. This uh, vent is very functional. It has, we have the tilt of the radiator forward so that the air that comes through the grill for cooling, the hot air has a place to vent up through the hood, which actually uh, reduces the lift and creates downforce in the car. We've created these new LED um, headlamps, uh, HID headlamps, xenon with LED uh, daytime running lamps and park and turn, uh, which create a new look. All the accents on the Corvette are painted uh, carbon flash, which is a black metallic. And then on the wheels, we, we've gone to Michelin um, tires, our standard on all the Corvettes, and Brembo brakes. This is the standard chassis setup, and it has a four piston uh, uh, brakes front and rear uh, Brembo and even the standard Corvette is capable of a 1G lateral acceleration so it's a very uh, competent handling car as well. Body side of course the new Stingray emblem again functional vents that take heat out of the engine compartment. Um, we have a clean body side all electronics uh, keyless start and um, push button start um, we also have, let's get to the back of the car, uh, we did something different here with the tonneau cover. Again, the, the, the convertible top fits under the, um, the hard cover, and it has the carbon flash accents as well. And then we have a small spoiler, the Z51 package has a bigger spoiler in the back. LED tail lamps, a new signature look for the Corvette, and the, and the carbon flash uh, diffuser in the back. And this car has the larger exhaust. This has the performance exhaust, which gives you the 460 uh, horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque. The trunk space is actually very good for a sports car. You can fit golf clubs in the back if you have to, and as well as your luggage for two for, for a, a trip. And also in the, in the cluster as well. Okay. You know, so we spend a lot of attention to the detail, the fit and finish, the quality of the materials in the car, interior, the seats, and just the way the switch gear in the car feels. Uh -huh. Not only is it a great performance car, but just the things you can't measure with the stopwatch, the way the car feels to you. Right. Really wanted that to be a moment, you know, no excuses for cars that cost. Like this is one of the, the, the things with the design um, was, the challenges was to make it unmistakably Corvette, but all new. Because we really, there, were, there was a large group that really hadn't looked at the Corvette in a while yes. and, and taken it seriously. Right. Even we felt we'd come a long way. And one of the things, we, of course, taking this car to a new level was just to make sure visually everybody understood right away. This is an all new Corvette, even some of the sacred things like the four round lights and some things like that. Uh -huh. We had to shake that up a little bit. Which is fine. And redesign Which is, it. Exactly. Yeah. So it still has that Corvette look, but it's obviously everybody goes, this is not the Corvette we're used to. This is something totally new. And that's really important, in my opinion, because it, you need that shakeup. You need that change away from the norm, because otherwise it just becomes another year model, basically. Everybody you talk to that loves Corvettes, they have the story, like you talked about, a perfect example. You were five years old, got a 77 Corvette. It seems like everybody who loves Corvettes has a story. But the standard Corvette, like the one we're in, is still very capable. It's a 1G lateral acceleration car. Mm -hmm. um, so 
pistol has a lot, a, a lot of performance capability, and it's great all-around sports car for both road, you know, for road use, performance driving, whatever you want to do. Um, it's a lot of character. The other thing we have um, with the Z51 is the magnetic selective ride control. Okay. Those are the magnetic with the magnets and the dampers that can vary the damping and the shocks. You know, in milliseconds, uh, the fastest variable damping system out there. And um, that's that's another um, great feature. So it really makes that Z51 a very livable car for driving on the road, and this, you know, as well as having that track capability. I see. Can you talk about the design? I mean, we're, we were going about 60, 65, and you and I are having a intelligible conversation. Very little wind noise. Um, I mean, I can feel the breeze coming over my head, but you and I are just just right. like if the top was up. Yeah, we're going 50 miles an hour right now, and we can have a great conversation. I mean, there's a lot of attention to detail in the aerodynamics, uh, the mirrors. Uh, the quietness of the mirrors, you know, they work on uh, Kirk Benyon, my partner in design, he works on millimeter by millimeter making the mirrors have low wind noise in the car. And you know, the Corvette also has to be a great race car, you know, we've had great success in racing at Le Mans, the American Le Mans series, mm -hmm. two time, back to back, last two years, manufacturers champions. And the important thing of that is having a car that has low lift and downforce in the car, like the hood vent we were talking about. Without all those added features, has better downforce response than a, than a ZR1 and better drag than the previous standard Corvette C6 generation as well. So it, it was, and usually those things are at odds together, so that was the challenge to both improve the drag and the uh, lift. And we also talk about, we were talking about visually in the car, how we really wanted the car to look like a Corvette, obviously people know right away it's a new Corvette, but break some of the sacred rules where everybody knows right away this is an all new definition of Corvette, Stingray, mm -hmm. where some of the traditional 